We have no food for you, my lord. I wouldn't accept any if you did. Not after what the Eagle Tribe did to your camp. Was anyone hurt? We were spared thanks to Doshum, the monk who oversaw this camp. He agreed to go with the Mongols peacefully if they didn't harm us. Where did they take him? We don't know, but we have people searching. I'll help. It's a rare man who would sacrifice himself for others. Hotoke can tell you where our men are searching. Her husband is leading the group. I can't believe it. It's been 15 years since I saw a samurai. You must mean Lord Sakai's men. Yes, from the invasion. There's nothing here for you to take. The Mongols have it all. I'm here to help find the monk, Doshin. You are? My husband and a few others are looking for him. They followed the Mongols toward the bridge. I'll show you. You should stay. It could be dangerous. I want to help. I owe Doshin more than most. I said earlier about the samurai? I'm sorry. The invasion took so much from me. You mean your arm? You must have been a child. War or no, that shouldn't have happened. I found a wounded samurai in our stable. Gave him food and water. My father caught me. Cut off my arm. The hand that fed the enemy, he said. That's cruel. He was wrong. No. He was right. The next night, the samurai came to our village and slaughtered everyone. It was Doshun who took me in, tended my wound. I survived because of him. I owe him my life. There's something on the path. Men have been cut down. My husband! Stay there. I'll check. I think I might be sick. Focus on breathing. This man is older. Lokoro. He left with my husband. He was new to camp. He's younger. There's a mark on his chin. <sighs> That's Kanaji. He had a wife and children. Do you think my husband got away? We need to find the Mongols, quickly. There's something on the path. This rice... It must have come from your camp. Likely. The Mongols took all our food. Let's follow it. What would Hotoke say if she knew who you are? Mutilated. Her village slaughtered. All to feed your father's arrogance. You didn't answer my question about my husband. Do you think he got away? We should go as fast as we can. I'm trying. But my feet and back. I had to come. I owe Doshun everything. But if I lose my husband, I don't know what I'll do. We'll find him. I never thought I'd have a family. But then I met Togo. With him, so many things became possible. But without him...
Mongols on the beach. I need a better look. A monk. Potion. They have him bound. Ready for execution. No. Togo! Is he hurt? I can't tell. But the Mongols will kill him if they know we're here. You can't save both. Sacrifice her husband and she falls into despair. Let the monk die and her hopes die with him. Please. You have to save them. I won't be able to save both. The moment I make a move, the Mongols will see me. When that happens... I can't lose either of them. I'll do what I can. You're quite the butcher with that sword. It's just... watching you. I can't help but wonder if you enjoy the violence. They look like bandits before. What have I done? Sounds like you could use a hand. What are you doing? Mongols torched my home. Either I build a new house, 
I sleep in the grass. You don't have any help? Any family? I don't have anyone. Lost my parents some 15 years ago. Always had to rely on myself. And now I have to do it with nothing to my name. Ah, don't look at me like that. Everyone has a story. Mine is I don't think I have enough wood. I might be able to help with that. Are you sure? Never mind. I'll take it. I'm building a house. Let's hope the Mongols don't burn this one down too. I may be able to help with that as well. I look forward to seeing your handiwork. Oh, I'm not building it here. Still gathering supplies. But thank you. I'll take this back to the site. Can't believe I'm doing this. Is it over? My lord, you saved me. You can thank your wife for that. Our family is grateful to you, but I fear for those back at camp. Doshin made sure we were fed, had medicine. Is there anywhere else they can go? It's dangerous to travel, especially for us, with me being pregnant. If I had known... No, we won't risk it. We'll stay at camp. You have each other, and your child. You will do well. Thank you, my lord. Come, Otoke. Let's take Oshun from the beach. Give him a funeral. Who are you? Thought I knew every face on Iki. Just a traveler. Stranded here by the Eagle tribe. You're welcome to join us. If you want to hear an old man complain about the past. We survived one invasion, and we can do it again. Or have you all forgotten how much we suffered at the hands of the samurai? That was nothing compared to the danger we face now. Nonsense. You're too young to know anyway. It's past time. I remind you all about the dark days of the samurai invasion. About the brutality of Kazumasa Sakai. Fifteen years ago, our home was invaded by an army of ruthless samurai. Their leader was Kazumasa Sakai, the butcher of Iki. He rode to battle atop his demonic beast, shielded with armor as black as his master's heart. Luckily, 
The Butcher made a grave mistake when he came to Iki. He brought his whelp of a son. Our bravest warriors hunted the boy. Not to kill, but to tempt his bloodthirsty father. Kazumasa gave chase, then rode into a trap. His armored horse met a grisly end, but the Butcher and his runt son survived, then fled. Like cowards. Enough of these lies. That is not what happened. I lived near Senjo Gorge. I saw it with my own eyes. So did I. Who are you? My name is Jin Sakai. Kazumasa Sakai was my father. He gave his life trying to help this island. Help! He murdered us! Your people repaid his help by murdering him. Is that why you're here? To avenge your father and take my head? You may be a liar, but you are not my enemy. Not yet. Stop this! You're acting like wild dogs! I came here to help, not for revenge. You mentioned my father's horse armor. After he died, we never recovered it. We know. Tell me where it is, and I can use it to ride against the Eagle tribe. I would die before I help a samurai. It's time you leave. something about my father's horse armor but he'll never tell me unless I listen in on him without being seen stay out <laughs> one more word about noble samurai and I would have Jiro! What about the rest of your story? Ah, yes. I was just getting to the good part. Kazumasa fell for our trap and lost his armored horse. As our warriors closed in, the Butcher and his boy fled into Senjo Gorge. The samurai limped through the canyon and ran headfirst into an ambush. There was no grand battle. Only a few raiders with dull blades. But that was all it took. One swing to end the life of Kazumasa Sakai. While the samurai slunk home, we recovered the armor from Kazumasa's mount. Over the years, our finest horses wore that armor. Every one of them killed its rider. As if possessed by the butcher's vengeful spirit. So we sold his horse's armor to the Ida merchant family. The cursed armor left our shores aboard the merchant fleet as a storm descended on our island. The sky roared with the thunder of a thousand charging samurai, and the raging tempest shattered the Ida ships against our rocky coastline. The ruins of that doomed fleet still choke Zasho Bay. And somewhere in that watery graveyard lies the cursed armor once worn by the horse of Kazumasa Sakai.
curse of Kazumasa Sakai is real. Once your horse wears this armor, he will feel your father's terrible bloodlust, and he will kill you. Father's horse armor. We'll see if it fits Kaze. <laughs> Suits you well, Kaze. Curse or not, you wouldn't throw me, would you, boy? You look just like my father's horse. May this armor protect you in battle. The Eagle Tribe. They found the survivors' camp. Come, Kaze!
Sybil, your horse, is that? The horse armor of Kazuma Sasuke, restored to his son, and cursed no more. After everything I said, you saved us. There is a new threat on Iki. I saved you from these Mongols because I was raised to help those in need. Raised by Lord Shimura, and the man you call Butcher. I can't forgive your father. But as for his son, you're more merciful than he ever was. I never thought I would say this, but... Thank you, Lord Sakai. Hello, traveler. I see you're not from these parts. Thought I knew every raider worth a damn on this island. Whose crew are you on? I prefer to work alone. My name's Jin. I'm Subaki. Make my living in the dye trade for horse armor. I recovered some horse armor recently. Once worn by the Mount of Kasuma Sasuke. I heard that armor's cursed. If your horse doesn't kill you... Maybe we can help each other. Seen any Sakai banners in your travels? The weathers stripped them of color, so now they're as white as death. The people of Iki used them to mark places where the samurai suffered humiliating defeats. Someone should take them down. Let those old wounds heal. So we can focus on the fight ahead of us. Nice idea. Might even work. But I'm in it for the cloth. Bring me those banners, and I'll use them to test my new dyes. Might even have some left over for you. I already have some for you. I found some Sakai banners for your work. I remember seeing those banners when the samurai first arrived. I was with my older brother. Our parents were busy getting ready to help the raiders' defense. They told us to hide inland, but we were bored. So Jubei and I climbed the mountain and I looked out to sea. At first there was nothing. Then, just before sunrise, the samurai ships appeared in the fog. I grabbed my brother's hand, squeezed it so hard my nails bit into his skin, but he didn't say a word. Funny. I haven't thought about that day in years. Maybe more banners will stir your memory. I hope not. Here, I have some dye left over that should suit your horse nicely. I found some Sakai banners. But not enough. Come back when you have more. And when my hands aren't so full. 